Hello, I'm Rob Gale and this is my journey to track and interview the citizen. Last time on Hunting Citizen. It took me a while to process, I mean, all the information I've been told. I kept telling myself it would be okay, but at the back of my mind, I knew cults were anything but okay. There's, you know, there's one thing to abandon your family and to live as a persona somewhere, but starting a cult brainwashing others and using your music as the gospel, it's sick. One half of me wanted to get as far away from this as possible, and the other half wanted me to try harder, so I confront him. I guessed I owed it to his followers too. I decided that I had to stick my whole head down the rabbit's hole, not, not just one hand, and infiltrate the voice. The informant told me that a link to the voice was hidden on Parallelabomb.com, usually in different places, but he told me that it's the easiest way to them. And sure, as I found a rollover image on the bottom of the site, which linked to another site, the homepage of the voice, the site listed ten tenants of the voice, minus the number four and a large logo. I didn't know what to make of it, especially a couple of his tenants, such as number seven. One voice to unite us, follow the guidance of the citizen, engage in a couple of his tenants, is, and engage in his message. His words are law, to be followed when he addresses members they must act. Number ten. Suffer for the cause. Society members will be subjected to isolation and punishment in the case of any disobedience. I mean, these two alone inform me that this cult was something to be feared. Apart from that, the site was bare. No information. Until I rolled my mouse over the logo and up popped this sign. Now, the more cautious of you may have thought that this would be the one place to avoid. But I knew I had to try. I mean, it was the only link I had at the moment to the citizen, and so I had to try. I mean, when was I going to have this opportunity again? <laughs>